I'm Lisa from Imaginif, Columbia Falls, and you're at home with Imaginif. We're going to do some more uh, kitchen chemistry today. Um, we're going to use some milk, and uh, we're going to make a milk rainbow, a rainbow, rainbow milk. It's a pretty fun experiment. It's uh, chemistry, so it's more properties of matter, um, properties of liquids again. So, but we're going to add a little component today. So that's uh, molecules. So most everything, everything is made up of molecules, little tiny itty bitty building blocks. Um, and we can't see things that are happening on a molecular level because they're so tiny. So um, I'm going to create a little reaction that you can do at home and it's really fun. You'll need milk here. I've got milk and you're, you're going to need um, uh, dish soap of some kind, any kind will do. And to make, um, to make us be able to see the molecular reaction that's going on, you'll actually need food coloring. And that's just to make it visible. So you need some food colors and you'll need these, or one of these. So little um, cotton swabs, Q-tips, whatever you call them, um, and a plate, a big dinner size plate. So that's all you're gonna need. So to begin with, I'm gonna pour some of our milk onto our plate. You need to cover about, um, about a quarter of an inch deep all over the plate, I'll show you. And I can't move my plate because I've got a camera set up here so we can get a close up. So. All right, there we go. So that took, um, that took about a cup of milk to cover my dinner plate. It's a pretty big dinner plate. Um, while that settles, you'll need to let that settle for a few minutes. So while that settles, I'm going to get into a little bit of the science here. So molecules. Milk is mostly water. So it's mostly made up of water molecules, um, but it's got other stuff in it. So it's got fat in it. Um, this is full fat milk or 4% milk. So um, it's got the most, the highest content of fat. And those fat droplets just sort of float around in the milk because they don't dissolve because fat does not dissolve in water. Did you know that? Fat is called, we call that a hydro, we say it's hydrophobic. So if you've heard the word phobic before, like if you're claustrophobic, you're afraid of small spaces. So um, fat is hydrophobic. It says, don't touch me to the water because hydro is water and um, phobic. Mm. So um, fat, hydrophobic. Now our soap right here, that's hydrophilic. So what do you think? If phobic means it doesn't like it, philic means, philip, yeah, likes water. So our soap is hydrophilic. It, it wants, all its little molecules want to combine with um, all the little water molecules, but it also loves fat because the whole point of dish soap is to grab all of that um, greasy food and uh, mix it with the water and rinse it away. So kind of makes sense if you think about that. So our milk, hydrophobic, so the, sorry, not our milk, <laughs> our milk fat, the fats in the milk are um, hydrophobic and our little soap molecules are hydrophilic. So that's gonna become important in a minute, but I'll show you what to do. So we're gonna get our colors and we're gonna take one drop of each color. I'm gonna start with red. And we're gonna put them right in the middle of the milk. So you only need one drop. There's my red. And you want them all close together. So my yellow is right next to my red. And our green. And whatever colors come in your food coloring is fine. It'll still be cool. There's our green and last blue there we go and as you can see as that blue starts it'll it'll it's spreading a little bit and as you see it's creating a little um a nice little, little bit in the middle so here's where we make our predictions because this is science right we've got to make some predictions i am going to take my little cotton swab and my soap. I'm gonna put a drop, this is tricky because my soap is really big, um, just a drop onto the end 
maybe two drops of her. All right, onto the end of my Q-tip. Without knocking my milk too much. So now I have my little, my little soap molecules and I'm gonna put my soap molecules right into my, the center right here of my color and my milk. I'm, I'm not gonna stir them around. I'm just gonna pop it in just under the surface of the milk. What do you think is going to happen? Make a prediction. Go on. I'll wait. It's what scientists do. You ready? Okay. So now we're gonna go to our little uh, fancy camera up here. So hang on. All right. So here we go. So we've got our color right here. We've got our soap right here. And I am going to go ahead. You ready? Wow. Check that out. What if I put it down over here? Oh my goodness. What about over here? Oh, don't you just want to run to the kitchen and do this right now? Oh, my cat is right here. She's going to, oh, here we go. No, <laughs> don't drink that. <laughs> All right. And you can keep doing this. It is really cool. And if you have a cat, <laughs> you have to keep your cat away. All right. Oh, am I blocking? There we go. All right. So did you like that? That was pretty cool, huh? So what was happening in here? Um, well, all of those soap molecules, all of our soap molecules were running around and chasing all of those little fat molecules. And they were bending and rolling and twisting. And all of that molecular gymnastics would have been invisible to us, except we put color in there and all of the color, the little drops of color, were getting bumped and moved around as all of the um, all of the, the molecules were chasing around. So if we keep doing it, actually I'll do it with this hand. See, it'll carry on. Because there's still soap molecules that are trying to grab onto fat molecules. And they'll keep going until, um, as long as I keep adding the soap, they'll keep going until there's no more of those bonds to create. Pretty cool. But why do we even care about any of this? Because of coronavirus. You might have heard of that, right? It's the reason we're all um, at home. So um, coronavirus, like most viruses, has an outer layer of um, lipid, which is a fat. Hmm. Just like the fat in milk. So it's got like a, a lipid or fat armor around it. And um, that's what allows it to grab onto our cells when it gets into our body. But we have a weapon, right? Soap molecules are our superhero molecules. Because remember, they have the two ends. They are, um, soap is hydrophilic, so it wants to grab on, wants to, I've got to put this down here so we can see that in. It wants to grab on to that water, but its other end loves the fat. So it's going to hack into that outer fat layer of the virus molecules, virus cells, and it's going to grab them and then grab onto a passing water molecule and whoosh, we rinse it away. So that is why everybody is pestering you to wash your hands all the time and to spend a long time doing it. Because as we see here, right, let me grab this hand, as we see here, the longer, this, lo this reaction lasts a long time. See, still going. The soap is still finding fat molecules to grab onto. So next time that somebody tells you to wash your hands and you're in there washing your hand, remember how fun this colorful experiment was and remember that all of that molecular gymnastics that's happening in here, it's also happening in your, on your hands while you're washing them. So you've got to give our superhero soap molecules time to grab all those little virus molecules, right? So just, just give it a long time. Wash your hands for a long time. So uh, milk rainbow and molecular chemistry and coronavirus. Have fun. Go do this. And then wash your hands really well afterwards. All right. Bye. Till next time.